Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Um, we're here at the Harriman Estate. Uh, there is something very wrong in here. Yeah. We are going to try to help Sebastian here settle his um, score, I suppose. Lace cuffs. Um, the Looks like there's supposedly things down here as well. Okay, I can't open those doors then. Then up we go. More! You lazy son of a bitch! What's taking so long? Flora? Why does no one in this house care what I want? More wine! Or I swear I will drown you in the dregs. That sounds familiar. I don't envy anyone in this household tomorrow morning. Hmm. She doesn't even see us. This is no normal wine. Okay, so... That's weird. Um, where did we come from? We came from... More logs. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, Monsieur. There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't. You'll kill her. He can't hear me. Perhaps I should be the one. We must end this madness. Okay, so... Just going to rub you of all your good stuff. And... Let's check the diary. First day of Harvest Mare. Mother finally began her expansion to the estate today. She brought in two dozen men from the Imperium, who I'm sure were slaves, and they've been excavating the hillside behind the house. The dirt is awful, and the noise. Must they shatter every rock in Kirkwall? It's been quiet since lunch, though, and Mother is behaving very strangely. She's now talking about stopping the expansion. Just like that, with no explanation. She never tells me anything. I'm starting to think I know a bit what's going on here. Um, yes. I visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings on. Well, obviously they have. What's down here? A sack! With a fancy poison ring. Any. Oh. Bollocks. Um, if the quest is down there, I don't really want to go there just yet. I want to explore. Divine Justinia the Fifth. Formerly the revered mother Dorothea of Orlais, Divine Justinia the Fifth rose to power after the death of Divine Beatrix the Fourth in the third. Beatrix the Third. Sorry, in the year 934 of the Dragon Age. Little is known of Dorothea's background before she joined the Chantry as an initiate. Within the Grand Cathedral, rivals suggest that her retis reticence, I think reticence, discussing her past means that she's hiding something. Few of her flock, however, can imagine her as any other, any anyone other than a gentle mother of obvious fate. When Beatrix III was felled by a massive stroke, she survived just long enough to point, uh, put forth Dorothea's name as a candidate for her replacement. Grand clerics from throughout Thedas flocked to Orlais for the Grand Consensus, a private meeting between the heads of all chantries to select the next divine. Though ritual demand of the decision be unanimous, servants attending the consensus whispered of heated debate over Dorothea's suitability. Her worldly background and demonstration 
demonstrated forgiveness for sinners who were held against her. Ultimately, however, the will of Beatrix III prevailed and Dorothea began her reign as Justinia V. Hmm. Flora's Diary 10th day of Harvest Mare. Father is behaving so oddly. Today he pinched my buttocks, just reached around the table and I can't imagine what would make him do such a thing. And the servant girls as well. Some of the things he says would truly make a sailor blush. I told the maids to lock up the wine, but it hasn't made any difference so far. I'm going to the Chantry again tonight to pray for him. This house is built oddly. The Vale family. Before the Vales came to power, Starkhaven was ruled in quick succession by a number of pity warlords. Some were genuine Banorn, but others were little more than bandits. Tired of the constant petty raiding and warfare between Starkhaven and neighbouring cities, the original Lord Vale organised a peaceful protest against King Ironfist, the low-born, self-declared King of Starkhaven. Hundreds of Starkhaven's most prominent citizens fasted for ten days and nights in on the steps of the Chantry, their numbers increasing every day. When his soldiers began deserting in droves at this example of piety, Ironfist surrendered his sword to the Templars and left Starkhaven forever. In gratitude, the people of Starkhaven demanded that Lord Vale be king. He refused, however, saying he had no right to that title. He was instead proclaimed Prince of Starkhaven, and his family has ruled there ever since. They remain devout, dedicating at least one son or daughter per generation to become a cleric in the Chantry. Well, that goes to show why um, Sebastian is as pious oh. as he is. <laughs> Lower! Lower! I beg your pardon, Hawk. I did not mean to expose you to such things. <laughs> What are they even doing? The Thalinast! No! The feather! Use the feather! Where have you been all my life? Today, I am more than a man. Come, felicitate me! He has no idea we're here. I've known Ruxton Harriman my whole life. He's a complete prude. Midlife crisis? <laughs> Where's your brother? Let's ask him to join us. Oh. <laughs> you naughty thing. I shouldn't say anything considering my you know what they say about talk. A man with big hands. Oh, right. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything considering my little trip to the Blooming Rose. <clears throat> anyway. Eleventh day of Harvest Mare. What can be happening? First father, now Brett. I can't talk to either of them anymore. I don't know what they're drinking, but they are lost in their own little worlds. And mother doesn't care. Should she even be here? And all she talks about is Starkhaven and marrying me off to that idiot Goron Vale. What madness has come over this place? Ah, uh, yeah. You know what they say about a man with big... To do it? Um... Oh. Bollocks, you kinky, man. Seriously. Wow. Anyway, let, let's go downstairs and see. Ugh. Yeah. Um. This is interesting. House building. Anyway, uh. <laughs> let's go downstairs and see. What the heck's going on? I, I have. An inkling what this might be. We shall see if I'm right or not. I uh, yeah. It's a Starkhaven longbow. Oh. Can't talk to you about it yet though. Okay. Here Turn you. back. There is nothing here for you. Oh, so now you see us. Odd. When we watched you being a drunken ass, you ignored us completely. <laughs> you shall not enter. Yeah. I pretty much guessed as much. 
much. Yeah, here we go. Of course, the Desire Demon and shit. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's better. Um, that was beautiful. I think my arm is going to fall off. Yeah, let's. Demons, temptresses. We must see what greater evil they were protecting. Yeah. Fate's fury. Um. Weapon and shield. Okay. Dagger for weapon and shield. Oh. Hmm. That's weird. So yeah, I think they ran a ruin. So close to High Town. I remember no such thing. Yeah, I think they ran into it with that expansion of theirs. In the shadows, more of them. Getting, I don't have a healer with me. I should get Meryl to take up at least the heal spell, I suppose. Things considering. I just want to check up here, see if there's anything. Bit of rubble. And the big cable, nothing. Okay, let's go see. Let's go back. Um, Yeah. <laughs> 